Hello students. In this video, we will look how to take word you have already known and make them into new words. All you have to do is to add few letters before the word. These are called prefixes. Or add a few letters after a word. This known as suffixes. Here is an example. Place. Replace. Replacement. Be careful. You can't do with all the vocabulary, but can have fun experimenting which one works and which ones don't. Let's look at prefixes first. We all know the word do. Did you know that you can redo something and if you are not happy with it, you can undo it. What is the prefix remains here? That's right. Remains again. Redo again. What about un? Undo. Un is the opposite. So if you undo something, you reverse of what you have done. Example of prefix un, non, re, sub, dis, etc. Let us take some example over here. The word happy, the prefix un, the new word unhappy. The sentence I am happy. Sentence with prefix I am unhappy. Here is uh, another prefix, the word possible, prefix im, the new word impossible, the sentence it didn't seem possible, the sentence with prefix it didn't seem impossible. Here is another example of prefix, this, what does it mean, disagree, dislike, Disallow, disappear. This also means not a reversal. Now let us look at some suffixes. Happy is an adjective. How can we make it into a noun? Simple, just add the suffix. Nurse, happy nurse. Here are two more adjectives to express feelings. Say, tired. To make it into a noun, just add the same. Nurse, sad plus nurse equals to sadness. Tired plus ness equals to tiredness. Other example of suffixes are ed, en, less, full, in, etc. Let us take some example over here. The word talk. The suffix is ed. The new word talk. The sentence she wants to talk to you. The sentence with suffix she barely talked to me. There are few more suffixes and prefixes that go with a range of words. Learning which ones to use and with which words may seem hard at first. But in time, you will learn which word sounds right. Prefix and suffix are everywhere. Next time you are reading or listening to English, start noticing which beginnings and endings. Make note of them. More importantly, use them. It is the only way to remember them.
I hope you have found this video useful. Thank you.